The next thing that I found is also in Tegan's size, but I'm not sure if it's going to be for Tegan. Probably will be, honestly, but um, it is this little fleece polka dot suit. Um, and what I loved about it is that the pocket, like their actual pockets and their little bare faces. So it is in Tegan size. I'll probably keep it for Tegan. The 10 inch twins do also have a theme of bears. And so I'm always looking for things that I can cut down to make clothing for them. This again is a Carter's. Um, and a lot of the Carter's have like little ears. This one doesn't. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, but overall really cute and it's super soft, super soft. The Tegan, I think just racked up. The next thing that I got is also for Tegan. It's just a really basic plain onesie, um, lavender colored. But the reason that I got this is because it is organic. And anytime that I find organic baby items, I buy them. Whether or not I have someone they fit, I love anything that is organic. So this is an H&M short sleeve onesie. Um, and starting with the purple onesie, everything that comes after this came from the other thrift store, not from the Goodwill. So everything, let me see, let me back up. Um, starting with the bear, everything from the bear forward came from the, the less expensive thrift store. Then the next thing that I found is this teeny tiny little preemie onesie. Um, as you can see, it's like really badly stained. So I'm going to try to bleach that out. If it doesn't bleach out, then I will um, tie dye this. But it's really hard to find preemie baby items. And I found this one, so I had to have it. I also found this washcloth for my toddler kit with a sports ball theme. Really cute. I found this little romper for him as well just has the number one it says daddy's mvp it's just like a shorts summer romper and then on the booty it has a baseball really really cute i also found this ladybug onesie with flowers so that's probably for my Sally kit because her theme is florals, but I'm not 100% sure who it's going to be for. The next thing that I found, you know, Tegan is my Japanese baby, and I actually found these Japanese pants. These pants are, they're knit, they're like machine knit, they have a drawstring. They are made for um, doing elimination communication, which is basically potty training of, of infants. And so they have the split right here, um, which I think will be really cute. Like I thought about maybe sewing them up and then I decided that I actually really like them like this because I think it'll be really cute with her um, diaper poking out. So those are for Tegan. They're going to be way too big for Tegan. Um, but the great thing about knits is that you can always cuff them up. This is for Scarlett. It's just a plain purple gown. I can't even like describe the way that this feels. It's kind of silky and really, really thin. Just looks like this, if I can get back a little further. Just looks like that. And it's an extra small size. And so I'm going to actually embellish this. I'm gonna crochet some hearts um, for down the front and crochet her a little hat and booties that will match. The next thing that I have is for um, to be cut down for the 10 inch babies. It's just this little bear sleeper. It's got little brown bears. It says ABC and then down at the bottom the little feet are bears. Just so cute. And then the back is just, um, it's the print all the way down, which is really cute. Then I found a 
sleep sack for um, for my toddler. It has, let me see if I can get it. It's a really big sleep sack. So I think it'll be fine for him. And sorry, you guys, I'm having trouble doing this with one hand. Um, probably should have zipped that up in advance. So it's just this really, really, really big sleep sack. Zips in the front. It's the um, Halo brand. And it's just got the all over sports theme. The next thing I bought is this little tie dye tank top. I bought this not knowing quite who it would be for, but thinking that I might um, use it for an elf baby. It's just a sweet little top that someone has hand dip dyed. So it has lace at the top, which is really sweet. And then down at the bottom, it has ruching. Like this is elastic and it's ruched, has a cute little tie. So that's what that looks like. Then I found a really cute couple of things for my toddler, which may be a little too small for him. So the first thing was this little baseball striped hat. It's really cute. And then this little onesie, which has the 08 just a basic yellow onesie and I thought that I could pair it with these adorable little pants um, these little pants just have an all-over sports theme they have actual cargo pockets which I love and both of these are a size six to nine months so I think I've heard, if I end up going with the kit that I'm thinking about, which is Ariana by Riva Chic, I think I've heard that she actually wears a size one and that, or 12 months, and that sometimes you can fit her in nine to 12. Um, so that might be a little bit snug, but I thought it was worth getting it to try and see. I also got him these little corduroy pants, brown corduroy. These are Cherokee brand and they are 12 months. And the color is not coming up true on the camera. They're, they're a darker color than it looks like. And I found this little thermal baby gap onesie, long sleeve onesie to go with them. And they've got the trademark gap bear, which goes with the brown and a sweet little pocket on the sleeve. So take a couple of steps back here. That is everything that I have picked up at my local thrift stores for the babies that are coming home. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.